Risk Five needs a theme song, you know, something like we built this city or something that has that energy because that's what I feel. I see passion and dedication and an emotional attachment to Risk Five throughout our community that is so energizing that for those who haven't joined the community yet, come on in. It's a really, really powerful place to be. I mean, I'm actually quite impressed. I think the kind of energy that is going into it and the way you have brought so many parties together is absolutely marvelous. All computers run programs at, at the very lowest level, they need to have a common lingua franca. If there is a lingua franca, then we can start building standard computers. Computers are getting themselves embedded into every aspect of our life. And for that, you need computers that are open so that people can standardize on something. And RISC-V with its open ISA is the only option that is available if computing is to become all pervasive. You can't build a society on proprietary foundations. The key differentiator for RISC-V from other processes is the openness, uh, the fact that you don't need to sign any agreement whatsoever to just start using it. With this, you can just download it. You don't have to ask anyone's permission. And that is a fantastic difference. Now that I'm doing uh, architecture, I use RISC-V and I get so many things for free. I can focus on adding value on a few instructions and leverage tens of millions, hundreds of millions of dollars invested in RISC-V over the last 10 years, you go that much further by being able to leverage that infrastructure. We had a workshop where we announced that we are gonna put RISC-V in every GPU and every chip that we have. Starting this year, 95% of uh, resources are put in uh, RISC-V development. When Western Digital announced uh, we were going to transition a billion cores, I essentially tried to replicate that momentum that IBM's billion dollar investment did to Linux with RISC-V. Today, RISC-V is a movement that can no longer be stopped. The conversation started to change to why not use RISC-V as opposed to the early years where it was like, why the hell would I use something other than what I've always been using? RISC-V is the Linux of the processor architecture world. It's the transformation to an open source platform that allows many, many more innovators and inventors to contribute to the advance of the technology. I think of ARM as a company that has paved the way for RISC-V. It is always destined to act as a place filler in the history of computing as a precursor to RISC-V. There is an immense opportunity for RISC V to be in five years the leading ISA for computing. I mean, it seems to be incredible, but <laughs> it doesn't look so impossible now.